7 out of 10 on a food scale. Mm. Don't call with the Malfoy. It's really good. <laughs> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another unboxing on the Weasel Zone. And today, we're going to have a new box here. The Munch Pack. The Munch Pack is a monthly subscription box, just like all the other monthly subscription boxes, and contains mysterious items. In this case, food. And I'm quite hungry, so I'm gonna test every single thing that's in this delicious box. I really like the design. It has this, like, cute box full of delicious treats in here. Well, let's find out what's inside. Yes, if there's sunflower seeds in there, you can have some too. Mmm. I'm actually really hungry. Just came from a hike, so this fits really well. Let's see. This one is by Rob. Made by Rob. Thank you, Rob. With love. Mm-hmm. Save 10% off all month's gifts. Use code TIS THE SEASON. Well, in case you want to get a munch pack, there you go. Ooh, oh yeah. Ah, oh, this is a good, good, off to a good start. Jerky XP, double habanero, beef jerky. Ah, oh, nice and spicy. Yum. That's off to a great start. First item, already love it. Mm. I expect this to be spicy, considering that it's called double habanero. Not one habanero, double habanero. Heat index, so is this maximum? Has a nice spiciness to it. Oh yeah. Ah, <laughs> jeez. Whew. Yeah, that took it a bit, but here it comes. Ooh. If something says double habanero, you better take it serious. Ooh, that's a good kick. But, really tasty. I like it. Thank you. Next in the munch box is... What is, what, what is that? Kurkure. Now, now, now even tastier. Masala munch. Some, some Bollywood related food. Up or be tasty, our be... I have no idea what this is. Well, I have no idea. Better try it. What masala munch is all about. Mm. Mm. Smells good. They're like... I wanna say... Cheetos? But tastes better. Mm, actually tastes really good. Good choice, Rob. Good choice. Good man. Ooh, wow. Hmm. Oh, there's plenty more. Kid Totis. Cheese flavored corn puff snacks. Ooh. Enriched with vitamin C. That can't be bad at all. Ooh, they ooh. They glow. Jeez. I don't think the camera does it justice. These are super orange. I don't even think the camera can handle that kind of orange. Hmm. But they're tasty. They're like cheese balls. Very fluffy, very, very fluffy and crunchy. They are not sticky at all. Usually when you eat them, they like stick in your teeth. I gotta say, Rob knows what he's doing. Rob, that's not his first rodeo. Rodeo, ro rodeo, rodeo, rat, rat. And there's even more, jeez. Not too bad for, I think it's 10 bucks or so. I don't wanna lie. Here's the right price. That's, that's what a munch box costs. Starburst, gummy bears, liquid filled gummies. I know these. I had these before. They're tasty. Ah, whatever, let's eat it. Eat all the things! Yeah, they're like... Gelatinous. And they have a liquid center. Wow, they're really tasty. Mmm, I need more. He's chewing on my, on, my, on my zipper in the meantime. Whatever floats your boat, buddy. I hope you have something to eat too, because otherwise this is really mean. And it doesn't stop here. Mm, what's that? Prima. Kiri Kiri Kiri. Kikiriki. Kikirikiri. I don't know. I have no idea. Pause and all. I, I don't speak this language. Problem is, it doesn't tell me what this is. Okay, salty pastry with peanut fillings. Good that you wrote it off there, in case someone's allergic to peanuts. They indeed have a peanut butter filling. It's kind of like dipping a salt stick, or whatever it's called, like a pretzel stick into peanut butter. It's not bad, it's okay snack. Doesn't taste bad, it's just, just a little bland. Well, next we have a Kit Kat Chunky. I'm gonna open this one up with peanut butter. They're quite tasty, actually. Um, I'm gonna keep that for later. Because I can't eat part of that, I have to eat a whole thing. Ooh, I've never seen these before. C'est bon. C'est bon, c'est bon, j'ai vraiment, j'ai vraiment. It's a cheese. It's cheese commercial, because I know those things. Fucking suck at math, but I can't remember the freaking commercial for cheese from like 20 years ago. If only I was good at math. Anyway, ooh, okay, they're like, like waffles. I mean, I can tell like chocolate coated waffles, zebra waffles. Zebra waffles, that's the word. Very yogurty. Basically, I don't taste any chocolate. I guess just this little bit on there doesn't do the trick. Mm. I like it, it's good. It's good, it's good food. Really, no, that's like seven out of 10 on a food scale. Mm. Don't talk with the mouth for it's really good. Man, that thing doesn't stop, that thing is full. What's that? Lupo Dream, Chocolati. Mm. Lupo Dream, well, 
Gotta try it. Open up. Hmm. Yeah, it's it's like it's like um, it's like a chocolate Twinkie covered in harder chocolate around it. It's like a yes turkey. I mean, I would eat it if I was starving, or if I didn't have any other snacks. Not as impressive. Might eat that later. You stay over here. And we're still not done. There's even more. Dorina cakes. Hmm. It's milk chocolate with biscuits. I like that it's cakes. It's so German. Gotta try it. I got nothing to say about this. It's, it's milk chocolate cookie biscuits. Oh, jeez. All right, Rob. Ah. Tastes really good, though. The chocolate tastes a little bit interesting, but it's not bad. Crispy chocolate. Digging it. Hmm. Hi, chew. I have, the, I have those at our Wegmans. Those are tasty, usually. They're, they're like bigger... For, Slightly different tasting starbursts. They're just chewy stuff. And Lamor. Or Lamor. Or Lamoro. I can't see what which one that is. Biscuit with vanilla cream. Wait, how do I I need to open you? Well, clearly only one way to do this. Why are you fighting me? Why are you fighting me so oh this is oh this is ah oh, this is where you open them. That's that would have been smart a few moments ago. And uh yeah, you got a cookie. Kinda expected that. These are super dry cookies. There's basically no stuffing in between. Just a little bit in between. They're super dry. No. Mm, no, thank you. Not the best biscuits I had. I mean, they're not horrible, but they're a little bit dry for my taste. Anyway, that was the Munch Pack. If you want to get a Munch Pack yourself, you can do that by clicking the link in the description below. Um, you can send them as gifts to someone else who you think might enjoy some snackage. There's quite a lot of stuff. The box was completely full of snacks. Some interesting stuff that I never had before. So that actually is the appeal. Uh, not necessarily that there's um, candy in there that I know. Not that it's bad candy, it's good candy. Interesting to taste something and try something completely different that you never had before. And there were some really interesting ones. I really like the habanero uh, beef jerky. I'm a big beef jerky fan. The masala munch, actually quite tasty. The cheese puffs, really like them. Um, these waffles were actually kind of nice too. Uh, not blown away by this weird thing, chocolate tender thing. Um, those guys are a little bit dry. That was, it's not a bad snack, it's just, uh, doesn't really impress me too much. Can't really go wrong with a Kit Kat. Can't get it. Blah. Can't really go wrong with that. I got quite a few more snacks, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give a like. I weasel. I'm out, and hope to see you around. Bye bye. <laughs>